Modi has expressed strong confidence in the NDA success projecting over 400 seats in the upcoming Lok Sabha elections with the BJP aiming for at least 370 seats. In line with this ambitious target, the BJP has recently unveiled another list of candidates for the elections. Hello, I am Vishal Upadhyay and you are watching India TV. Today, let's delve deeper into the BJP's latest candidate selections. Javir Singh Thakur has been chosen by the BJP to contest against Samajwadi Party's Dimple Yadav in Manpuri. Additionally, SS Aluwalia will represent the BJP in Asansol, West Bengal. Praveen Patel in Phulpur, Neeraj Tripathi in Prayagraj and Vinod Sonkar in Kaushambi. Meanwhile, the party has replaced incumbent Chandigarh MP Kiran Kher with Sanjay Tandon for the upcoming polls. Additionally, Neeraj Shekhar, son of former Prime Minister Late Chandra Shekhar, has been nominated as a candidate for the Baliya Lok Sabha seat, replacing the current MP Virendra Singh Mast. Dr. Rita Bahuguna Joshi, a sitting MP from Allahabad, has also been replaced by Neeraj Tripathi, son of former Speaker K. Srinath Tripathi. Similarly, the sitting MP from Phulpur, Keshri Devi Patel, has been substituted with Praveen Patel. However, BP Saroj, the MP from Mashli Shahar, has been nominated again to contest the elections. In Ghazipur, the BJP has selected Paras Nath Rai as its candidate, who is known to be a close associate of Manoj Sinha, the Lieutenant Governor of Jammu and Kashmir. Rai will face off against Afzal Ansari of the Samajwadi Party. Meanwhile, sitting MP Vinod Sonkar will be contesting for a third term from Koshambi. So that's all from the BJP's latest candidate list. Let us know in the comments how you analyze BJP's latest list and keep watching India TV for more updates.